Muslim members don't come to work because they don't want to be here, then we often have two police officers on duty, whereby we can't even have a vehicle dispatched to attend to, 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 to complaints in the area. There is a failure of um, proactive policing because our members are not in the mood to come and work because they are so unhappy. I'm, I see if General um, Berger is here, we would like to hand over the memorandum so that we can make sure in front of the community that he can remove the station commander today still. We want him removed today. There's an operation today apparently, and we were not even informed of this operation. He's been dealing with a parallel structure that he undemocratically elected where they self-appointed themselves as the crime forum of sector two. Nobody even put that people there, but they're representing the community that they have not even met with. General Berka, you're supposed to be here! I went to two songs into where I spoke to the minister, let it max them all, where I raised our grievances. So our memorandum is very short. Um, the, the, the no accountability to the CFF and the community from the station commander. There's been no transparency, no community relations, no partnership from the station commander, the CPF, in conjunction with the volunteer safety structures. He has no interest in the community, he has no interest in dealing with the gang and the drug activity happening in Strandfontein. And also the, victimize, the victimization of the CPF and the Strandfontein SAPS members at the police station, which leads them not to want to come to work. It's a big concern. It affects the service delivery in Strandfontein. And then also creating division between the community structures. And he has also instructed his visible members not to work with the CPF. That is not what we are supposed to be here for. The CPF is there to build a relationship, to build a bridge between the community and SAPS. And he's been the hindrance in that in that bridging, in that community relation, that partnership. The community doesn't even have the confidence to come to the police station anymore. There was a resident from um, Point Away that contacted me today to say he made an appointment with the station commander and he was told to come three weeks. In three weeks time, that is not what we're supposed to do. I see the residents of, of Point of Patrol is here. They have a problem house, but number 12 and 14, Papillon. An ongoing problem. I have emailed it since 2017 and absolutely no action has been taken. I've emailed about all the drug houses that I've been receiving from the community. There's no crime intelligence happening in Stramfontein. We have the six bobs in Bayview. We have the funkies in Stramfontein. We have the, 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 the yuckies in the informal settlement. Nothing is being done. It's ongoing. We constantly have to beg the station commander. Come and meet with us. He doesn't. He, he just blatantly ignores the plight of the community. We're here to help. We're not supposed to grovel for the partnership or for the relationship. We're here to help, but we cannot anymore with this man. We want him removed immediately. <laughs> We've ex there's been inspections upon inspections, grievances upon grievances. Nothing has come. I've spoken to you, General Burke, and you said you don't have the feedback of the province or from national. We haven't received a single response or feedback on the grievances that we have lodged. Yeah, I've received the memorandum and I will make sure that it's uh, sent to the provincial office uh, who will most probably have to respond uh, on a later stage. That's all. So is the station commander going to be removed today? I cannot comment on that. We have to wait. Have we been waiting since 2018? No, there's it's now 2019 inside. and we are still waiting for feedback from the general and from the national and provincial office. We call it for the removal of the station commander, Captain Malong, for the refusal of working with the community safety structures. He has broken down the, pro the block watches and street committees by causing division between the, between the CPF and the, 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 the structures. Um, the residents feel unhappy with the situation regarding crime in Strandfontein. For the year of 2018, we have had 10 murders and not a single engagement from the station command to the community as to what their plan of action is in dealing with the gang violence in Strandfontein. I don't care who is here. I received a threat that I will be arrested with my ex co Arrest me all the way. Cyril Ramaphosa said we have the right to protest without being arrested. I understand the frustration of the police officers at Stramfontein Saps that is also unhappy with the situation with the leadership of Stramfontein Police Station whereby the station commander victimizes them. Sergeant Brida has lodged a grievance against the station commander and thus she has experienced victimization with the result she has not attended work for plus minus 10 months. She has then transferred to Mitchell's Plain Saps. Sergeant Jacobs transferred to a reaction unit because he could not
at work under the leadership of Stramfontein Station Commander Captain Ballon. Sergeant George gave a minute notice resignation yesterday because he cannot handle the pressure and the frustration and the victimization at the Stramfontein Police Station. We are sitting with a crisis where our members of the police station is unhappy and they have threatened to act violently towards the station commander. There is no time frame or turnaround time. Today we want the removal of the station commander. We've raised this many times, like I said, since 2017, and absolutely nothing has been done. I'll serve as long as I want to serve in this place for the safety of my community. And that is why we're calling for this today, because we want the station commander to be removed today, not tomorrow, not in seven days' time, and we don't seek an intervention. We are full of interventions. We want action today.